hi guys and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'll be doing 10 luxury items that i regret so with the pandemic going on i've been like going through my closet and i realized i have a lot of items that i haven't used and they've come from the or prada gucci so let's get right into the video first item that i regret um, comes from christian louboutins so i'm probably saying that wrong so i'm going to call them red bottoms um, i purchased this item last year in new york city um in, at Saks. so i was going to a boxing event and i was super excited and i wanted some flat um red bottoms just because i'm more of a flat person than i am a heel person believe it or not you can call them grandma shoes whatever you want to call them but i like them um so i went ahead and purchased them i've never worn them so when i went in there the guy was like hey um i said i want them for a boxing match tonight he was like i wouldn't recommend it because you're gonna your feet's gonna hurt he said you need to walk around your house for a couple of weeks in them so you can um you know break them in i've never worn them i've worn them around the house maybe two three times and my feet doesn't hurt too bad to be honest with you but they hurt enough that i'm just like yeah i need to really break these in so they've never been worn they've never really been out of their box i walked around the house maybe for 20 minutes in them so i would always tell you before you purchase any like shoes or anything like that just make sure that you really really do love them i paid um about 626 for them overall and my next item comes from Gucci. So I purchased this back, I want to say 2016, 2017. I got it like when it first, first came out. Uh, like when the little lock bag was like super in. And I was super excited to get it. I've only wore it twice. And that little cut you just saw, I wore it on the airplane and it, and it got scratched. And after that, I stopped wearing it. It sits in this duffel bag and in a box. The main reason I don't really wear it is because it's too big for me. All my bags are mini bags or cross bodies. I don't really carry that much. So me walking around with this big old bag with like nothing in it, it was just like, it was just too much for me. Um, so I would always like recommend you buy a bag that you are going to use nonstop. Like all my other bags I use all the time, but this bag is just sits in a duffel bag in a box, you know, far back <laughs> in my closet so always buy a bag that you really really love and my third item comes from Dolce & Cabana so with this wallet on the chain I actually really do love this um, wallet on the chain forever I'll never get rid of it um, it's just really unusual for me so I've only I've well I think I've worn it once that I can remember but I don't think I have um, but just like overall, it has like a little slot for like my foam. Um, I can put like my cards in there. I have another Dolce and kind of Dolce and Cabana bag, and it's like all black, and it kind of goes with my outfits a little more. This one, I feel like I have to um, really think about what I'm going to wear if I'm going to carry this one. Also, I'm not a really big fan of the chain, but I also purchased this during their sale, so I got a really good deal on it. So I would probably always keep it in my collection. All right, so the next items, I put four and five together um, because they're small leather goods, they're little card holders. So the very first item comes from Gucci. So it's a little um, card holder. I actually have the bag that match with it. Um, I wear the bag a lot, but I do not put the um, card holder with it. I wore the card holder only one time. Um, and I put it one time, I brought it out of the bag. And if you can see, I have like on the G like the color is coming off of it and I was planning on taking it back to Gucci never got a chance to take it back to Gucci and now I'm stuck with this wallet that's like you know have the gold that's coming off if you guys know how to fix it or anything like that let me know or if I can still take it back to Gucci um and get it fixed I'm pretty sure they're gonna charge me so it's not even worth it I have like a couple more wallets so it's okay um the next wallet comes from Dolce & Cabana it actually matched the wallet on the chain that I just showed you guys um I've you can wear it with any bag that I have I just never have um I really want to wear it with a um, wallet on the chain that I have but yeah I would tell you always buy stuff that you really really love my next item comes from Burberry. I'm a huge fan of Burberry, believe it or not. Um, but this item I purchased, which was low-key ridiculous, because it's a scarf. I live in Texas, and we 
barely get cold weather here and it still have the tags on it and everything like that i paid about 290 for it and it's just kind of sitting in this box i recently just sold it though um uh, like two days ago so um i hopefully the new home uh, will be able to use it more than i never got to my next item comes from gucci and i believe like everyone has this pair of shoes in their closet um, so they're the white um, shoes with the B on the side. Um, so I have these shoes for a while now and I've only worn them one time only. Um, I'm not really sure why I've never worn them more than once because they're actually pretty comfortable. They fit really nice. I just, I don't reach for them because I think the reason why is because they're sitting in a box and I don't really go towards that area. But I would tell you if you're going to buy shoes, make sure you love them my next item comes from prada so with these items i purchased this at an outlet um at the premier outlet here in texas and san marcus um and i saw these shoes and i was like oh they're really nice shoes so i, I purchased them and i've I haven't worn them um they're just kind of like an all black pair of shoes they almost kind of look like work shoes but they're a little bit heavy and they have leather inside so you actually have to wear them out a little bit in order to get them to feel comfortable all right so this item actually hurts because i am a huge dior fan um however this pair of dior shoes i do not wear like i should i've only wore them one time but hear me out i have another pair that looks exactly like this which i'll show here in a little bit that are my my favorite shoes and they're like the exact same shoes they just have a different design but there's something about these are hard to style for me and i haven't really wore them worn them I, like i said i only wore them one time and i don't know i don't know what it is like i haven't like i can't tell you why but i would never give them away because i really do like them and like i said i just haven't worn them like but one time and it's like hard for me to style and i see other people style i'm like they look really nice a part of me feel like i need to have the high heel version of those maybe i'll like them a little better but i want to show you this is the the or pair that i have which is the exact same shoe but this is like my go-to shoe i love this shoe i like the little polka dots or whatever you want to call it on it um i wear this shoe like all the time like this is like one of my favorite shoes but for that one that one was like really hard for me to to kind of get into it but yeah but that one's my favorite and my last item comes from burberry so there are actually some burberry ballerina shoes i actually really do love these shoes they just hurt my feet really bad so i've never worn them um i've did everything i possibly can to make them feel comfortable but i just can't so they just sit in my closet so i would just recommend make sure you buy stuff that you really do love thanks guys for watching hope you liked the video and always remember buy stuff that you love bye